Basically, since we're already feeling uh, impacts of climate change, whether it's increased frequency and intensity of, of drought or increased frequency and intensity of flooding events, the aim of adaptation strategies is to try and minimize the negative impacts of such climate hazards on societies and ecosystems and or to take advantage of some beneficial aspects of climate change. So in a nutshell, that, that is what adaptation is. I think um, Cancun uh, brought uh, quite significant developments for adaptation because it basically uh, brought, brought back what was laid in the Copenhagen Accord as decision, as a specific decision, because the Copenhagen Accord uh, wasn't related to any official UNFCCC decisions. So um, actually in COP16 in Cancun, the adaptation framework was introduced, which uh, elevated uh, the profile for adaptation in, international negotiation, in the international negotiations. And basically all parties agreed uh, now, finally, as a decision that adaptation should be addressed uh, with the same priority as mitigation. So what is essentially the Cancun Adaptation Framework? Um, it, it builds upon three years of um, intense negotiations ever since COP13 in Bali, uh, the Bali Action Plan, uh, which uh, has four building blocks specifically for adaptation. One is the um, the implementation of national plans for adaptation, the scaling up of financing for adaptation, knowledge sharing and the setting up of the adequate uh, institutions that will foster adaptation. So the Cancun Adaptation Framework is basically such an action plan for adaptation which sets um, the principles based on which adaptation uh, should occur, adaptation actions should occur and also uh, defines a set of priority adaptation actions. The Cancun Adaptation Framework, we could say that it might be quite similar to the RDD framework that was um, agreed in, in Cancun again for adaptation because it sets um, a series of guidelines based on which adaptation actions should, um, should be developed. And also an important uh, part of the Cancun Adaptation Framework is um, the establishment of an adaptation committee which will actually guide the implementation actions uh, in adaptation and also um, assist um, developing countries in accessing funding. Although mm, I, must point, I must point out here that the adaptation framework is still a hollow shell, so a lot more needs to be agreed on, especially um, how, uh, how, for example, will, will the adaptation committee foster implementation? And, what will be the exact modalities of, of this adaptation committee and all this needs will be agreed in Durban hopefully. The big question mark is funding. Where will adaptation funding exactly come from and how it will be raised and how it will be allocated between countries. Uh, of course uh, the priority allocation for the least developed countries is acknowledged since they're judged to be as the most uh, vulnerable countries to the impacts of climate change. But a lot more needs to be worked out and how, uh, how actually it will be funding will be dispersed and uh, how it will be allocated. And um, I think it's going to be a quite intense year of negotiations. And uh, this is quite relevant also for C4's uh, research and adaptation because um, now is the time for this research to inform policy because a, lo a lot of the really important decisions will be hopefully made uh, in Durban. I think what is quite especially important for C4 is uh, that uh, the role of forests for adaptation um, has been missed out again. Uh, so I think it's, it's a good chance for C4's research uh, to, um, to inform the Cancun adaptation framework on how important forests are for uh, the adaptation of societies. Well, basically, although the, the framework does recognize that we need to build on the resilience of both societies and ecosystems, um, it doesn't really uh, lay the foundation uh, for parties to work on integrated measures of adaptation that also include ecosystem services for the adaptation of communities. This is, um, this is missed out in the framework. So I think there's an opportunity there for, for C4 um, to push for that to be included because it's quite important. And there have been quite a number of 
NGO and I INGO proposals uh, on that already, but C4 could provide the actual um, yeah, scientific knowledge that is needed to foster, uh, to foster this. Uh, because, um, I mean, there was a big win for forests in terms of mitigation with the uh, agreement on red, but uh, in adaptation, forests have been largely unrecognized again.